Larry Anglosano reporting for Aviation Consumer at AvWeb here at the Soaring Society of America convention. This year it's held in Greenville, South Carolina. Now STEMI is here with the S10 motor glider as it prepares to deliver the next generation motor glider, the S12. To tell us more about the S10 and the S12, here's STEMI's Wes Chumley. Uh, we're here at the Soaring Society of America convention and this year we're displaying a uh, brand new STEMI S10 VT turbocharged uh, Rotax uh, motor glider. It's a side-by-side two-seater, 50 to 1 glide ratio, but it cruises just like an aircraft under power. So you have the capability to fly 800 nautical miles at altitudes as high as 18,000 feet, uh, at ground speeds up to 140, 150 knots. It makes it possible to travel all over the United States. You can soar anywhere you want to soar. Instead of having to have a tow pilot, a wing runner, someone to help you move the airplane around on the airfield, all you have to do on a Saturday morning is walk into the hangar, push it out, 10 minutes to unfold the wings, hop in the airplane, and you're ready to go. Climb to 2,000 feet, shut the engine off, and you're a 50 to 1 world-class motor glider. The magic of the STEMI is the folding propeller. That's what allows you to get a 50 to 1 glide ratio. So you can see right now the propeller is completely folded up inside the airplane. So to deploy the propeller, you just turn the key. For three seconds, the engine rotates, deploys the propeller ah, with centrifugal force. Once the propeller blades are deployed, the ignition fires and the engine's running within four to five seconds. Pulling this handle indexes the propeller so it's in the correct position to close the nose dome. Once it's in position, we pull the handle, the nose dome closes, and you're a 50 to 1 high performance glider. The landing gear on the S10 is, is completely retractable. Um, on deployment of the landing gear, almost no pitch change at all uh, and very little noticeable change in uh, glide ratio. So connected to the wonderful folding propeller by a carbon fiber drive shaft, we have a Rotax 914 turbocharged engine rated at 100 horsepower continuous and 115 horsepower for five minutes at takeoff from short fields. The Rotax is a standard 914 um, it burns approximately 3.7 gallons per hour uh, at altitudes above 10,000 feet at cruise speed, making the range on this airplane truly astounding. Um, 950 nautical miles uh, is typical. The avionics in the S10 includes Garmin 696 GPS. We also have um, Becker transponder and Becker um, transceiver. In addition to the primary navigation equipment, we've got the latest in uh, glide computers with the LX8000 glide computer uh, along with Power Farm Core, so you're ready to go race this glider if you wish. So what we've done is we've taken the S10 uh, to its natural evolution with our new S12 that'll be available this summer. The S12 is essentially the same platform as the S10 with some enhancements. For instance, the S10 is a 23, and a half, or 23 meter wing. The S12 will take that to a full 25 meters uh, with an increase of lift to drag ratio approximately three or four points of LD, so 53 to one with the engine shut down. In addition to the increase in performance, the increase in creature comforts were carefully thought out. We've added a baggage compartment, which a lot of people have asked us for, to the aft fuselage. The aft fuselage is relatively close to the center of gravity, so we, it allows us to have a lot of weight in that aft baggage compartment. The volume of the baggage compartment is also quite large. Another big improvement we've added is an electric trim, another item that many uh, owners have, have requested over the years. The avionics suite will include a Dynon EFIS along with an autopilot. Uh, with AHARS, the, so the aircraft is fully equipped for day and night VFR. The landing gear on the new S12 is a similar design to the S10, however we're providing a wider track for more stability during taxiing, takeoff, and landing. Delivery of the new S12 is set to begin 
in September of 2016, with pricing starting in the high 200s to the mid 300s, depending on equipment. Delivery of the STEMIs is included in the price. The airplanes are delivered to Columbia, South Carolina, USA. For more information on the S-12 and on the S-10, please see our new website at www.stemi.info.